and welcome to Open Doors. Thank you so much for taking time tonight to view this program. Uh, we've been praying for the last several days about what to talk to you about uh, today here on, on the program. And I want to thank you for all of your feedback on our new program, Open Doors. We are here to make a difference uh, for our Lord, carrying out what we've talked about in the last few programs, the Great Commission, and putting on the armor of God. Let me share with you a piece of scripture that a friend of mine in California uh, gave me when I was out in California, and I'm, I'm having the California effect right now. And, and I think I would have that if I would have went to Minnesota or Iowa or Colorado. People are hungry for the truth. Amen. And that's why we're coming here every week. We do not want this program as we pray to the Lord to be what Pastor Barry Dickens of the Methodist Church in Los Alamos, New Mexico would call nothing noise. There is plenty of nothing noise out there, my friends, even on Christian radio and Christian TV. We are to be the salt and light of the world and to bring the truth and hope to you and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Even many pastors, all they do is babble now. They just babble. We babble. We have to look at what we're doing in the church, what we're doing on Christian radio, what we're doing on Christian TV. And we thank Pastor Ray and Pastor Brenton and Jeff Helmers here, Howard, Steve, the whole staff here at Channel 32 for helping us bring this program. My friend Chris Squires, he manages KERI Radio in Bakersfield, California. And his mother recently passed away. She was in a nursing home, and she was sick, and all of a sudden the nursing home decided to send her home, which flabbergasted her son, Chris. He was actually upset with that decision. Well, the day the nursing home sent his mother home, she passed away. And Chris at first was rather angry about that because he felt if they would have kept her in the nursing home, his mother would still be alive. But Chris called his sister to tell his sister, Mom has gone home to be with the Lord. And Chris said, Sis, what if they would have kept Mom at the nursing home? I think she would still be alive today. And Chris's sister referred him to Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Yes. <clears throat> And that verse that Chris shared with me in California in that story, I was able then to use that scripture to minister to many people that I ran into in California that are really tired of going down their own way, their own path. And they're on the verge of making a decision to commit their lives to our Lord Jesus Christ. With us this week, of course, is Pastor Jim Matoya. And we're also uh, very blessed to have Bishop Ron Mazel of the Church of God here with us today. Thanks for being with us, guys. Delighted to be here. In with this message today is something Chuck Swindoll wrote in his book on Moses. And it talks about, and this may be where you may be at, folks, and this is what I'm going to have you guys address today for our viewers. Chuck writes... It may be at this very moment, my friends at home who are watching this and you're struggling and you're searching and you've had it with the government, you've had it with maybe your husband, you've just, you're at the end. But at this very moment, you are close to one of the most decisions or maybe the most important decision you will make in your life. And that's handing your life over to Jesus Christ. You know, uh, Chuck shares a uh, song, a hymn, that the church used to sing. I haven't heard it in many, many uh, years. Have you guys heard, Have Thine Own Way? Oh, yes. Have Thy Own Way, Lord? Yes. We should have you sing this because you've got the singer's voice. Praise God. Have Thy Own Way, Lord, have Thy Own Way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will while I am waiting, yielded and still. How many times have many of us 
saying that. And you may be at that point handing over your will to the Lord and giving your life to the Lord. Pastor Jim, people are searching. Yes, they are. They are wanting the truth. There is so much nothing noise in the world today. That's correct. Coming from, you know, when we were kids, we grew up when we actually believed what the government said. That's right. We believed what our public officials said. We believed what our pastors said. Today, there's so much corruption all around us. Here, this is the truth. Amen. Send a message to those that are viewing here tonight about the true hope. Well, the true hope is Jesus Christ and Him crucified and resurrected from the dead. We cannot do it our own way. We cannot do it by ourselves. We need a Savior. That's why Jesus came into the world to save us, to save us sinners. We needed a Savior. The Word of God, Bishop Ron, the answers are right here yes. in the Word of God. So why should we look at all these different avenues that are available to us, people just searching and searching? Help people understand why this book was written. It was written, of course, to teach us about God, to give us the direction to get to Him, to have a relationship with Him. It is the truth. It is that roadmap that we need in order to get from earth to heaven to have eternal life. Amen. Now, we used to, when we grew up, I mean, there was Bibles even in the public schools where I was from. People were not afraid to talk about the Bible. Yes. Do you feel that a breakdown in our society is the fact that we're not looking at this, the Word of God, enough in our roadmap to life that's been kicked out of many institutions, public institutions? Yes, and I think that uh, the general attitude toward the scriptures is one that is that the scriptures are not authoritative. Uh, too many of too many people in our society today believe that there are other sources of inspiration. There are other sources of authority other than the scriptures, and they equate other religions. They equate philosophy. They equate science as having as much validity. And, and authority as the scriptures and sometimes much more. And I think that has uh, led to a breakdown in the trust that people have in the scriptures. When you and I grew up, the scriptures were the rule to live by. They were the authority. <laughs> but over our lifetime, we've seen that attitude change a lot. Now, you know, uh, Jose Vasquez, our New Mexico watchman in Santa Fe, here, what, a couple months ago, they got some pastors together, theologians, and they were actually saying, well, we can't really take the Bible word for word. Right. Pastor Jim, what do you say about that? Well, the, that's a, an opinion, but we know God's word is his word. This Bible is his word for mankind, for all of times, from the beginning to the end. God has a plan, and this is his plan written for us, and it's written specifically to communicate His love and His compassion to us. But we have chosen to ignore His Word. We have chosen to walk away. We have chosen to do it our own way. Bishop Ron, why are even pastors getting away from the Word of God? I'm not sure I can answer that with any authority, but I know that it is true that many uh, believing Christians and many even pastors are questioning the authority and the truthfulness of the Word. So isn't that a awful message to send to the people at home that are watching this program? Here we have the Bible, but yet there's people in the church saying, we don't know if it's word for word. That's very true, and I can't understand why a person who uh, pretends or purports to take, make his living by preaching from 